Hello, Lakeside Coffee House. First of all, I would like to thank Pastor Paul and Steve Orr for inviting me to be a part of this virtual coffee house. You can see I'm down in my studio. Denise is behind the camera there. Hey, everybody. And we really hope that you enjoy the show. The first song I'm sharing with you is inspired by the Lord's Prayer, where Jesus was teaching his disciples how to pray. He taught them to pray to the Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. I got stuck there because I didn't understand what he meant by hallowed be his name. So I looked up the definition of name. I looked in the scriptures where there were, where God was called certain things and by the prophets and by the apostles. And I came up with this song, the worship song. Mom! 
I'm a science enthusiast. I like physics. I, I, well, first of all, I like math. I like all the mathematics. I like the aspect of earth sciences, space science. I like all of those things. The thing that gets me about this is that as I look at all these little things and how they come together, there had to be a tremendous mind behind everything that we experience every single day, the physical things, the things that we can't see. So um, I, I wrote this song called, How Do You Read It? How do, we, how do we read exactly what is in front of us? Here's the song.
This is my personal story. The song is called Blessed Abundantly. I became a Christian uh, in my early, I was 19 or 20 years old, and I've just looked back at all the times that the Lord had been good to me. Listen to the lyrics. Has given me a strong mind only just to serve him all of the time and in my body I have strength sufficiently In the world, we know what captains are. Uh, I wrote this next song so that we understand who, as a Christian, who our captain is. Where do we go when we are trouble? When we don't know which way to turn? How can we be pulled from the rubble? Tell me, who alone can meet these concerns? 
concerns We look for the testimony of what Jesus says he'll do in his word Cause he is the one and only with the news that's good when it is heard yeah, yeah. How can we push his help away? We know to be found in this kingdom Our path must be the narrow way We should no more play the games of compromise And make light of his purpose Oh no teaches us it's all about ourselves, me and mine. This song tells us what it's really about.
and the mission means so much more. Yeah. Today. Sisters, with this wisdom and love, he'll show us his way. Oh, cause it's not about me, not about you, it's not about us. The next song is called My Life, and it's another story that's part of my life where I realize how merciful God is. Oh 
This next song, Rescue, was written by Fanny Crosby. She wrote this in 1869, which was 151 years ago, basically. Uh, And that was at a time when they did not allow women to preach in the pulpit. She She didn't let that stop her from sharing the gospel in the church and teaching people what they should do. Uh, The full title of the song is Rescue the Perishing. And if you're a Christian and you are here tonight, the Lord wants you to look left and right to see who you can help rather than it all being about yourself. Rescue the Perishing. Thank you. 
Well, that's the whole show. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And we look forward to the next time we see you in person. Bye-bye.
strongman subdued before it's all through. The purpose of the clergy is so clear, but that the service builder is Thank you.